With the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 right around the corner, I thought it'd be a really good idea if I brought you my reviews of the first two Hunger Games films. So without further ado, here you go. The Hunger Games. So as you all know, The Hunger Games came out in 2012. It was the first instalment of the whole, it's going to be The Hunger Games series. And basically, it's set like in kind of dystopian future times. And it's like composed of 12 districts. And every year, each district sends two members to this huge event called The Hunger Games, where basically they fight in this arena in the wilderness. They fight to the death, and it's broadcast live on telly. Now, the main story of the film is obviously Katniss Everdeen, played by Jennifer Lawrence, who's part of District 12. And she gets sent along with District 12's boy Peter, played by Josh Hutcherson, to the Hunger Games because she didn't want her daughter, sorry not her daughter, her sister to go because she was originally picked to go and she volunteered as tribute. So now she's in the Hunger Games and it's just a fight to the death. Now um, yeah like I said at the start, the new Hunger Games coming out next year, I thought I might as well review the first two. So the first Hunger Games film, I actually watched the first Hunger Games film like a few days before the second Hunger Games film so I could go watch the second one. And I actually really liked this film, I thought it was a really enjoyable film, it means like it's not the best film ever but it was a really enjoyable film. Now, I, I remember like building up to this film, a lot of people were complaining that there was so much violence in it. People were like, running out of the cinema screaming like, OH MY GOD, ALL THE BLOOD HERE! Not really, I mean, there is like a bit of blood coming out of someone's chest in one scene, but it's not like a really bloody violent film. It's a, it's like a, it's a 12A or a PG-13 film, it's not bloody violence. But the violence in this film is pretty sweet, and Katniss Everdeen, Jennifer Lawrence is great as Katniss in this film. I mean, like, she just have like, this really emotional, powerful tone to her, which is more present in the next film anyway, but we'll talk about that in the next film's review. But she was just really good as Katniss. I couldn't really picture anyone else playing her, so she's really good for the role. Josh Hutcherson was really good as Peter. Uh, they sort of have a romance going on, and it's just like you kind of buy it a little bit, but you sort of don't at the same time, if you get what I mean. Like, you don't really buy the fact that she actually cares about him romantically because she's apparently like developing a crush on him or something like that. I don't know, just I didn't really pay attention to the relationship stuff, I just wanted people to fight and die. But when people do fight and die, it is pretty awesome. Uh, it is really intense this film as well. There are some scenes where like things are happening in the Hunger Games. It shows like different things happening when they're being chased by these different wild animals. And it's really intense. You get chased and you just like, are they going to make it out alive or not? I don't know. But you get it. It is really, it is really intense and really exciting as well. My favorite thing about this film, pretty much about the whole Hunger Games world, really, it's just like the concept of the world. I mean, it's like a dystopian future, and like there's people in the capital. They're like the high commander people, like the capital dictator people. They live in like futuristic buildings, but in like District Twelve where Katniss lives, they live in like the slums and stuff, and it looks all really rubbish. That's like the rubbish district. No one wants to live there. I just like the future. I like the Hunger Games itself. I just like the concept concept of the Hunger Games, it's like a televised event where people just fight to the death. Gruesome? Yeah, if it happened in real life. But entertaining at the same time, like, yeah, for all the commentators and stuff, I was watching like, yeah, I'm actually really digging this, it's like a real televised event that I would actually, for some weird, messed up reason, I would want to watch if I lived in that universe. Because I would, well, I would watch it because I guess in their world, the Hunger Games is like the World Cup, I mean, everyone watches it, well, not everyone, but pretty much a majority of the human race watches it and stuff like that but I just like the concept of the Hunger Games event and the Hunger Games world itself they really do a good job at like establishing the world in this film and they do a better job in the second film but this film is still good for what it is so yeah in the end Hunger Games it was really enjoyable uh, they have some good action sequences in it like really good fighting Katniss is really good in the film Jared Lawrence as Katniss is really good in the film as well. Josh Hodgson was really good. Uh, Woody Harrelson was even good in the film as well. The supporting cast is really good. And really intense, really exciting. It does slow down in some parts. But in the end, I will give The Hunger Games a 7. So guys, thanks for watching this video. And I don't know, what do you think of the first Hunger Games film? This is The Hunger Games 1. So whatever you thought, put them in the comments below. And if you like what you've seen here, then be sure to click right here for more videos. Mm -hmm.